Well, we've been talking about it a lot here on Coast Life. School's back in session. Yep. Very <laughs> exciting all across Del Marva. But with that, we all know it can come maybe some illnesses, some sicknesses, even just sometimes going back to school. It can be hard for kids. It can just be stressful. It yeah. Be. It's not always it's not always as exciting for all kids, you know? Exactly. That's right. So that is why today we have a very special guest. We have Ashley Cook with BB Healthcare's School Based Wellness Centers. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. So this is really exciting, I think, for parents and kids yes. to learn about. Well, because this is a program really is specifically for the kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, parents do a lot of worrying about their kids, yeah. but kids also, you know, need to take care of themselves. And we're talking wellness. That can be physical, that can yeah. be mental. What does wellness really cover for these kids? So within the wellness center, we have nutrition, mental health, and medical services. That's important that you include mental health as well. Yeah, and nutrition. And nutrition, definitely. So what do you really focus on and what, what does your role look like? So I'm a licensed clinical social worker and what my role looks like is that students who are not already covered in the school, they don't already have someone that's designated to them, they can come and see me as a layered support for them. Okay. So. Yeah. When a kid might decide, all right, it is time to see you, maybe what are the things that they might be struggling with or, or looking for guidance with when it kind of comes to, I don't want to say symptoms, no, but, but sort I know of you just mean. like questions that they may start asking themselves and like maybe it's time to seek somebody out. Mm -hmm. So it can be a wide range of things. I always tell students um, it could be something as small as, um, you know, they just feel more nervous mm -hmm. um, than usual. Maybe they're in their ninth grade year. They don't know anything about high school. Or it can be something like they're grieving a loss of someone mm -hmm. or, you know, they feel like they're more sad. Um, it's a wide range of things. Maybe they just need more support. They don't have a lot of support at home or they feel like they don't have a lot of support within the school, so I'm there to help them along. That's yeah. great. And so once a kid is experiencing these feelings um, and they go to you, what do those next steps look like? What do you do for them? Um, so what happens is once they become a, a member, mm -hmm. we then set them up for appointments. Okay. So the benefit of them being in the school and this being a volunteer uh, program, they are um, they can set up however they want to. Okay. So if they want to come and see me every two weeks, if they want to just set up appointments when they need to, when they feel overwhelmed, they can do that as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I like you also mentioned nutrition too. I, I know it's a statistic that you've sort of seen that. Um, you know, some kids, their main source of a meal comes from schools mm -hmm. and school provided meals. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you also, how is nutrition covered within yeah. this program? So upon the first time that I see them, I do a mental health screening, which covers medical nutrition and mental health. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't even realize that they are getting a deficiency mm -hmm. as far as what their out outcome looks like. So. I might say, you know, are you eating three times a day? What does that look like? And then when they realize, when we come to an agreement, hey, you know, something might could change, then they uh, set up for an appointment to see the nutritionist. Okay, interesting. And I think going back to school right now, of course, maybe it's nerves or anxiety that mm -hmm. a lot of people are experiencing. But if it gets later into the school year and now it's homework and mm -hmm. or, or something happened with a friend. Big test. Yeah. Can they join mm -hmm. this group at any time and seek the services at any time? Yep. Great. They they can. Okay. And how can they do that? If a parent's watching right now or a kid who thinks they yeah. could benefit from this, what should they, they do? How to become a member. Yeah. So um, almost everybody in the school has access to those forms that we have, which there's a form that covers all of the years that they're in high school. Mm -hmm. You just do it one time, fill it out. It gives uh, the student permission to come and see us at the Wellness Center and utilize any of our services. And Ashley, you know, we just talked about how simple it is. So for everyone who wants to join, which high schools do you service? Um, for myself, I'm at Sussex Central High School. We also have Cape and Lupin High, high School, mm -hmm. as well as Indian River High School. And then up and coming will be Sussex Tech. Technical High School. Okay. Perfect. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of options and a lot of resources for yeah. a lot of kids in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, when a kid is stressed out, the parent can feel it too. Yes. The parents always want to know what they can do to help their kids. So take us through the parent's role in this too, if you don't mind. So we have a lot of parents who are calling in and saying, hey, I heard you were a resource. Like, what can you do for us? And so what we encourage for them is to get involved with all of their supports when they have teachers or any other uh, services within that school, as well as sign in that paperwork, because mm -hmm. that's very important um, to cover when that student 
is in need and then all of our services are confidential so we do work with the student however we do encourage our students to talk to their parents about certain things maybe stuff that's tough for them yeah. um, that they don't know how to so it might look like me talking to a student and saying well tell me what you think that your parent might say and then let's um, troubleshoot on how to talk to them about that. Oh, I yeah. love that. Right? Yeah. I feel like I could have used that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just to learn how to communicate yes. hard hardships, you know, like that's, mm -hmm. it's a hard thing to do. Especially in high school, a lot yeah. of people, they think they need to keep things from their parents mm -hmm. or they're trying to figure out on their own. So yep. it's nice to know that they're not alone. Yeah. Yes. Great. And so Ashley, one more quick question for you. So if someone comes to you and maybe you notice or the student notices, mm -hmm. they're having some trouble in other aspects. Maybe they came to you for mental health, but you notice something else. Can they get services in those other uh, medical groups that we talked about? Yes, Great. so what that looks like is a warm handoff. So what I would do is I would say, hey, I'm gonna walk you back to our AA. We're gonna set up an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, and for our medical services, they can do physicals, they can do acute care things. Maybe they went to the nurse and the nurse um, said, you know, this seems like it's something more, let me walk you back down. So we all try to work together to get that warm handoff mm -hmm. to make sure the student is wrapped in services. Fantastic. Awesome. You've really thought of it all. Yeah. Great. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for being here. You know, we were just saying we wish we knew we had this in our I high know. school. <laughs> Apparently we did. And we, we didn't just didn't know. know it. So happy that you're here to help spread the message that these services are available to students. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for watching. As always, we have more Coast Life on the way, so stay, stick around. This segment of Coast Life was brought to you by BB Health.